Hello from, hey, from Great Music from Nashville. It's good to be here. Uh, uh, we've got we've got a uh, stormy weather for the next. Uh, I think it is uh, six hundred days here in Nashville. So um, that's going to be good. exciting. We have a lot of time inside because that's really what we needed was more time indoors. Um, <laughs> I <laughs> I'm super excited today. Um, uh, our musical guest is uh, is really incredible. Uh, he I first became aware of Mark with his band uh, down here uh, was the name of him and around, I think it was about 2000 was the year and uh, in the year 2000, anyway, uh, it was back in the year 2000 uh, and I was just, I became aware of Mark's band and got to hear them play. We, we kind of did a lot of the, the festival circuit um, and I was struck by, by kind of the progressive complexity of the rock and roll that his band was making. It didn't feel like it fit a lot in, into the, uh, the, the Christian space at the time, um, maybe ever really. Uh, but because it, maybe it was too good, it was too complex and, you know, for all those reasons, but I, I grew to kind of appreciate what Mark was doing. And, uh, and then kind of years later, uh, Mark kind of came back around, uh, working, he he ent was part of a competition uh, surrounding the band Queen, and the story is really his to tell. But um, but it's just been a fun ride to watch and to see the 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 uncertain turns that have taken Mark where he is. And so I am really grateful to have Mark on the show today. So Mark, how are you today? I'm great. I just like to say that half the reason why. Uh our music wasn't maybe a fully accepted with open arms in the CCM uh, world is uh, half of your guys' fault. Cause uh, <laughs> Jason and I who were the main songwriters in the band, like totally idolized jars of clay. So uh, we were kind of, kind of following along in your uh, mold. Oh, well, well, I appreciate that. But, uh, but it was, it was fun. And then I found out you were Canadian and it made a lot more sense that the band was, was kind of coming out of this space where really I would say progressive music got its uh, got its due course through bands like Rush and uh, yeah yeah tragically and also hip, all that stuff innate hilarity yes yes so you are um uh you you've got a whole other twist and turn to your world though um one of the things you you have a new record that came out uh which is fantastic yeah. um. Uh, I could go through my entire history about Queen with you, but it would be really boring. I'll I'll huh. I'll just say this: I my the first records that I had when I was a kid, that my parents owned were Rush. Uh, uh, sorry, were Queen records. They had a Night at the Opera, News of the World, <clears throat> and then I I became a musician uh, that cared about the world and saw music and uh, the force that is music connect with things like um, social interaction with uh, uh, social action with Live Aid uh, mm -hmm. in 1985. And so mm -hmm. Queen was actually a big part of my world too. So, um, you know, so to hear that that's, that's kind of become uh, part of, of what I would say is the Jekyll and Hyde of, of Mark Martell. Uh, but I'll <laughs> let you kind of describe it. I'm not sure which is which, but uh, maybe it's just both two Mr. Jekylls. But uh, anyway, yeah. yeah, it's classic introvert syndrome. Like uh, off off stage, as as you know, you know we that from that one day that we wrote us tried to write a song <laughs> in, right. here in the studio. Uh, I'm not uh, my stage persona except when I'm on stage. Um, but that's that's interesting what you say about about Queen because you know coming from from CCM and Christian music and music with a faith message, and then going into the world of of really tribute music and playing this music that. Uh, draws people together more than I've ever seen playing any other kind of music. It's really been amazing. Like all over the world, you can't go anywhere where people have never heard of Queen. It's like one of the only bands where you can go literally into any country. I'm sure even that includes Africa, uh, the African continent, yeah. where everyone can sing you at least two of their songs. It's really amazing how that music brings everyone together. Yes. Well, and I think that is, that shows the power of music. It shows the power of a shared experience, uh, uh, and I just, it's been fun to watch. I, I have so many questions around that, like how, because you're doing music both as, as um, in tribute 
to Freddie Mercury, but also uh, you're a songwriter, you're a creator who's doing this stuff that is your own and um, and kind of moving in and out of those worlds feels like it would be difficult. But uh, I, I'd be curious to hear you describe that a little bit. Yeah, back in the down here days, I mean, we were together for 13 plus years and, you know, we really prided ourselves on playing our own music and being really creative and using chord progressions that were not necessarily radio friendly and all that stuff. And honestly, we, aside from when we would, you know, lead worship in a church service, um, we were not interested in playing other people's music at all. We kind of scoffed at the idea of doing covers in any situation. Um, so now um, being in this new season of life and I had no idea that it mattered so much that I sounded like Freddie Mercury. And honestly, <laughs> during the down here days, that really worked against me. I remember um, our A&R guy at our record label um, after we had just released what I considered to be the best song I'd ever written to radio. And it got ads like out of the, out of the gate, like all the radio people loved it, but it just wasn't connecting with, let's say her name, Becky. But yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, and the reason that kept coming back from these radio promoters or PDs was that I sound too much like Freddie Mercury. <laughs> and yeah. um, uh, I don't know, maybe that reminded too many people of their party years. I don't know. I don't know what wow. it was, but uh, it's just so uh, hilarious now that I'm really making a, making a living doing this thing and, and a really great living and yeah. getting to go all over the world. You know, my, YouTube channels up to like over a million subscribers, which blows my mind. I don't even understand what that means. Um, just got to, got my first number one at radio just last year with a Christmas yeah. song with Michael W. Smith and Amy Grant. Um, something Who are they? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm living the the dream, I guess, in in a different way yeah. um, than what living the dream really means, you know, deep down. But um, yeah, it's just been really, really interesting to see how it's opened doors, not only in the mainstream, but also in, in the world that I was working so hard to break into for 13 plus years. Um, so it's been uh, it's really a really good thing all around. Um, trying to find more good. time to work on my own thing. Obviously, the Christmas thing for me has been really big. Um, we've been really been focusing on that. Yeah. And, and uh, I know that you, you guys uh, did a lot of Christmas music, too. And it's funny, every time I get in the studio in the middle of the year, like spring, summer, to record a Christmas song. I'm like, oh man, got to muster that, that, uh, that Christmas spirit out of nowhere. I always remember this video. I think that was on Jars of Clay's website back when you were doing your first Christmas record of Steven being really silly and looking at the camera going, it's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> that, I replay that image in my mind every time to get in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> Brilliant. Good. As long as it doesn't like give you nightmares or something, no, you wake up in the middle of the night after that's yeah. That would be great. So <laughs> I, uh, yeah, Jars was Christmas such a, an, an important season, obviously. And we all loved, for some reason, we all grew up with great Christmas records. The seventies and eighties birthed a lot of great Christmas music and, mm. and that just, yeah, it stuck with us. So yeah. yeah, I'm glad you're, you're doing that too. That was that. Yeah. I remember when the record came out, maybe we'll get another go at some more Christmas music sometime together. We'll see. Um, yeah. We'd love to hear you play a song or two today if you've yeah. got uh, if you're up for it. I am. I came pre prepared with my own studio, uh, and I'm going to turn on my reverb because it's sweet. Sweet. Uh, today is like you mentioned the release of um, a new album, and it's me performing Queen songs in one take. Not all the songs in one take, just each right. song in one take on the piano, just piano and vocal. And it's an interesting new way for people to experience the music of Queen. And um, these have originally started as YouTube videos um, that have been really, uh, you know, gotten a lot of views. And we decided to release them as just audio uh, yeah. only on streaming services. And um, also today, along with the album, um, we're releasing a new addition to the collection and it's I Want to Break Free, which I believe is extremely uh, timely for us all yeah. right now. Here we go. <clears throat> I want to break free. I want to break free. I want to break free from your lies. You're so self-satisfied. I don't need you. I want to break free. God knows. God knows I want to break free. I've fallen. 
fallen in love I've fallen in love for the first time This time I know it's for real I've fallen in love God knows God knows I've fallen in love It's strange, but it's true, yeah. I can't get over the way you love me like you do, but I have to be sure when I walk out that door. Oh, how I want to be free, baby. Oh, how I long to be free. Oh, how I want to break free. But life still goes on And I can't get used to living without, living without, living without you by my side I don't want to live alone No, God knows I've got to make it on my own But baby, can't you see Now, baby, can't you see that? God knows I want to. God knows I want to. God knows I want to break free. Break free. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! So good. Wow. Woo! Yeah. Oh, that's so it is mind blowing. It mind is blowing, pretty mind blowing. Mind. Yeah. Yeah. When he pulls out the when he pulls out the kazoo, I mean, come on. Right. <laughs> well, you weren't expecting that. <laughs> I, yeah, that's not like really. Ne- yeah. That's like next level stuff, right? I mean, come on, nobody does that. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Every instrument deserves a time to shine, you know. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, so Mark, tell us a little bit about like, um, what has uh. Like you've you've gotten to do a bunch of touring around this, but uh, but now you're obviously you're stuck kind of you're stuck at home. Uh, has this been a creative season for you? That's one of the questions I like to ask everyone: is what have you been doing during the quarantine? Like has it has it been anxiety producing, or has it just been uh, like has it been okay? Um, yeah, what's what's well, been your process? Uh, the the Queen thing. I tour with my own uh, tribute band all over the world, and uh, for the last two years, I've had literally no time to create my own material. Uh, last year alone, we did 130 shows, which is way more than I ever did in a year with Down Here. Um, so that's been keeping me really busy. And uh, we started this year, we kicked off this year with a 25 date show of uh, Germany and Austria and Switzerland. And then um, right after the tour ended was when the quarantine started essentially. And I had this whole year again, sort of booked to the hilt. And, um, and I'd been asking and talking with my manager, Josh, for, uh, you know, months now that, man, I need, I just want, I want a break. I want to set aside, not just a few days, but I want like a couple, maybe three weeks at a time at home, just so I can get back into my groove. Cause I can't write on the road. I don't know about you, but, um, yeah. it's, uh, yeah, it's really hard. I, I think maybe I've written one, one song in my whole life while on the road. So I, I just love being in my, my rhythm when I get at home and this is, in some ways, everything I've been dreaming for, uh, dreaming about and, and asking for. And so like right when the quarantine started, I, I like banged out two songs, um, which I haven't written a song in like two years. And so, um, it, you know, and, and getting to create more online content, um, which is always fun. Uh, so, yeah. And, and on top of that, I'm, I'm an introvert and I, I really get energized by just creating on my own. Um, you know, I've, I've, I think I've I've done a lot of great work collaborating, especially when I was with down here and stuff. But I've I also written what I consider to be some of my best material just on my own. So um, it's been really fun to dive back into that and spend a lot more time with my wife, 
um, which has been really, really great. Um, so I don't know, maybe I'm in the minority, but I, I, I've been, I've been asking for this, this home time and I'm really making the most yeah. of it. Well, I, I think it's good. I think it's nice that the world is shut down for you to allow <laughs> you to have the time to create the music that you need to create. Thanks, it's really Will. great. So, uh, <laughs> but I will say it's really good. To, uh, I, I, uh, I, it's hard. I, my words are failing me for the moment, but, uh, I'm, I'm just great. You took some time to be on the show with us today. Um, do you, uh, would you be willing to play us, uh, another song? Yeah, I, um, I was kind of going back and forth between two songs, one from my solo record that I released a few years ago that barely saw the light of day, uh, <laughs> or a, a down here song. And since this is a this is like kind of a, a, a church stream, um, I thought it'd be really cool to do one of my down here days songs. And actually this is the song that that uh people always thought I, you know, didn't do well on radio because of my voice. And I was really proud of the song and was really excited for people to hear it. And so here's Here's another chance. Um, this one Good. is, uh, it's kind of based on how as, as well, believers and especially, you know, conservative evangelicals kind of grow up with this worship of certainty. And uh, that's something that we hopefully, you know, grow out of eventually and realize that just because we don't know something and we don't understand something that, that doesn't make it a bad thing. And so this is just kind of, um, this kind of lay, laying all that down. It's called Let Me Rediscover You. Your spirit hovers over my waters Your love burns longer than the sun The skies of thunder echo your wonder Your praises can't be oversung The whole universe is witness to only a part what you've done so let me rediscover you and breathe in me your life anew tell me of the God I never knew and let me rediscover you You see my weakness, my pride, my blindness. You wield your power through them all. Of all the mysteries, still the greatest to me is that you're faithful when I fall. How can I say I know you when what I know is still so? Let me rediscover you And breathe in me your life anew Tell me of the God I never knew And let me rediscover you Let me cry holy, holy, holy let me awaken to your majesty and see a glimmer of your glory. Let me abide in you. Let me rediscover you. And breathe in me your life anew Reveal to me the God I thought I knew Let me rediscover you And breathe in me your life anew Tell me of the God I never knew and let me rediscover you oh, let me rediscover you tell me of the god i never knew 
Jesus, let me rediscover you. Yeah, so good. Oh, good. Beautiful. Thanks, guys. Well, Mark, thank you for uh, for giving us that. That song obviously works perfectly if, for people who have been in the discussion with us today and uh, mm -hmm. are you know struggling with what is a, a, a sense of uncertainty. So I appreciate yeah. appreciate that. Um, everyone out there, go check out uh, Mark's new project that he put out today. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, available, I'm sure, everywhere where you can stream or download. Um, and uh, just support what he's doing. Um, so good. Yeah. Okay. Mark, thank you very much.